This is one of my ZV drivers, and on top of it is a, a small flyback, maybe about an inch and a quarter by two inches, the ferrite core. Primary is 15 plus 15 turns of uh, solid hookup wire. The secondary, however, I made myself on the lathe just for fun. This little secondary measures about an inch and a half long by about an inch and a half in diameter. It's wound with number 34 magnet wire. Each layer of wire was insulated in the white epoxy that the finished unit is encapsulated in. Terminals are 632 uh, screw hardware. And the bobbin it was wound on was made of one inch Corian countertop plastic material. Well, let's see it run. Here's my same ZVS driver, and this time sitting on top of it is a coil I made up on an iron core. It has a ZVS primary, and sender tapped on one end, and then the high voltage part is about 15 layers of number 28 wire. The whole assembly is four inches long and the secondary is about two inches in diameter. Here's a shot of the waveform across the primary when I start it up. It's a nice looking clean sine wave and if I put a load on the coil there I'm now drawing an arc. The waveform isn't really badly affected. Well, let's get it going again and draw an arc off it. Not very impressive as arcs go. But the coil does work. Let's try it again with a bit more voltage. Okay, we'll feed it about 65 volts. Yeah, that's a little better. an air core coil atop the ZVS driver. 
this coil has about an inch and a quarter opening. Well, let's start it up as an induction heating coil driven by the ZVS. And let's get a quick look at the waveform. There we go, a nice clean sine wave. Uh, let's move back down and we'll take a piece of thin steel strapping and just hold it inside the coil and observe what happens. Well, it's not taking long to come up to red heat. I'm driving this with about 30 volts. Uh, there we go.